everybody. Welcome to Lenmush Roses. We are here, Flowers Between Friends, in the Tulip House today. I'm Georgia Edgington, lead designer here at Len Bush. And I'm Kristen Thomas. I'm marketing coordinator here at Len Bush Roses. And it is, I feel like it's a little bit of Grand Central Station in here. It's a little busy today, but yeah. that's, we're a working farm and we love it that way. Busy no, the absolutely. better. absolutely. It is. It actually makes it kind of exciting. I mean, literally we have growers walking through yeah. the tulips right now, like pulling yeah. out bulbs and looking at them and people we, like processing yes. tulips over there, cleaning, cleaning things. Cleaning containers. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. We love the whole process and agreed. What better time of, of year to do this, but to talk tulips when the weather is so stinking gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I High know. High of 67 today. Yeah. I'm not wearing socks. I noticed that I was gonna call you on it and I'm like, no, I won't. I still I have like my short little booties on. Yeah, but no, anyway. I couldn't wear socks today. When I heard 67 <laughs> degrees, I had to pull out the spring gear. I just did. It's okay, so, you look very springy today. Thank you, I feel yeah. very springy and yeah. you look very lavenderish and springy as yeah, well. Yeah, a little on bit the, like an Easter egg. On but, the softer side, yep, you yeah. look like a tie-dyed Easter egg and I look <laughs> like a floral garden, as usual. <laughs> as usual, exactly. But anyway, yes, yeah. welcome to our tulip house. And we're gonna talk tulips today, obviously. So yes. we wanted to inspire you a little bit. We've been in here before. We've talked to you about our actual tulip crop and some of our varieties. Yep. But today we just wanted to inspire you, maybe to yep. do some fun pieces in your shop. Yes. Or those of you who get to go and get some tulips at your local floral shop mm -hmm. and are bringing them home, maybe we can inspire you to what in, to do with them when you stay at home. Inspirational pieces. That's all today is about inspiring the designers and inspiring the consumer with your flowers. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Just, here we're just having a little bit of fun. So you want to start with one in the middle? Just yeah, let's, let's, so start, let's start with this. Isn't it just flowers between friends? Look at this. Just the gorgeous <laughs> white. Simple, simple white. I like to look at um, tulips as a very versatile flower. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, it's absolutely. Just, it's got a contemporary look. They stand alone by themselves perfectly. Yep. And the other thing is you mix them in and make absolutely beautiful gardens, make beautiful pieces. You know, don't you never have to worry about overusing a tulip, I don't think. No, I because agree. tulips can really have a, they can go from country, garden, farm to a contemporary look. You can even toss them into bohemian looks. Yep. So but frankly, my favorite is to just seriously take a tulip and let them do their own thing. It's just they're beautiful on their own. They just really are. So simple little picture, little it still be. I love using a still be green. There you go. Have fun. They're yeah. just, they're absolutely gorgeous. And right now we've got quite a few white tulips and look at just the crispness in that white. It's really beautiful. It's been fun it's even soft. since this morning when you were designing with them to this yeah. point now and kind of watching them open that little yellow peeking through the center. Yes. They've, the arrangement has already changed. Right. Absolutely. Yep. And tulips are not just for base arrangements. I use tulips in Oasis and like in this garden here, so pure Oasis extra long just to make sure it's really saturated and I don't I give my tulip and my hot here's hyacinth too I no, give so them an angle cut and maybe pierce the oasis just a smidge and then I work that in there I just gently work it in every now and again I might bust a stem but then I take the shorter stem and tuck it down deep in but most of the time no if you know if you get comfortable with it work with it more you can still do tulip and hyacinth arrangements in oasis never fear do it yeah, and I, I, when I walked into Linbush this morning, Georgia was working on this piece. I'm like, yeah, that's going home with me. Yeah, this it is. is totally my style, the more gardeny, yep, kind of the more maybe a little bit more country look. Yeah. but this is definitely me, and, just, and I love it. And look at the simplicity too. There are three elements in here, really three floral elements: tulips, hyacinth, and pussy willow. Which again, mm -hmm. what screams spring? More than pussy these. willow. Yeah. And throw those three together, and holy cow, yes. you've got a spring garden right there. Yeah, and a couple little eggs and. You know, if you don't have a nest on hand, which I didn't, yes. I grabbed some Spanish moss and created a nest and yep. stuck some little robin's eggs in. So there you go. Kristen had the little spring garden for her table. Yep, love it, love yep. it. Thank you, Georgia. Yeah, and then like I said, over here on my right, whoops, I just dropped my little, I'll my see if little I can guy. Grab you. Yeah, on my right, again, it's just the simplicity of tulips and how they, here you get a contemporary look, how they really do stand alone on their own. And I took this pedestal bowl, this rose bowl, and just took some lily grass and tied a bow around the pace of the pedestal part of it, the base of it, just to create a different, interesting look for this vase. So lily grass actually is very pliable. And I do a lot of things with lily grass. It will hold like this for about seven to 10 days, really, before it starts to turn a little bit yellow on the ends. But otherwise, it's you know it's a fun thing that you can kind of do with that. And you just kept nodding it. Is that I'm trying to see what the bottom? Yeah, is. what I did is I actually took it and I, I get it nice and warm. So yeah. don't take it right of the cooler and expect to do this. 
get it warm. And then I rub it between my hands to soften it. Yep. And then what I do is I just tie like a half knot, but then I fold it back over itself and push it up through that knot okay. and then gently tug. And so it gives a nice finished look. Yeah, I like that. To it. I like and that. You want me to hold piece, that one? Yeah, I'm gonna bring this up here. Isn't that pretty? Just a simple oval cut off base, thick glass bottom. Take some curly willow, wrap it horizontally, or excuse me, vertically, horizontally. That was right. That. So yeah. sorry. I'm looking at the vertical look of the yeah. tulips. <laughs> so horizontally through this, and then put your tulips in, keeping it very clean and fresh looking. I took as many of the leaves off as I wanted because I wanted to see a little bit more stems in here. Then I also took, and I took the curly willow and came horizontally across the top through the tulips to play that line again. And I took it and then bound it with a little bit of finishing wire. And what's going to be cool about this, as the tulips continue to grow, because you know they will, and as they open, they're going to intermingle and they will become a little bit more part of the look with this line and the curly willow. And it's really going to be cool in a couple of days. And I'm actually going to have Sarah watch this for a couple of days and take a couple of pictures and we'll post those on yes. our page, our Facebook page and our Instagram page yep. so that you can see how this is going to continue to morph and create its own look and integrate itself together. And it's going to be really beautiful. Now, Georgia, I'm um, thinking about like if I had this at home and yeah. it's time to um, maybe freshen the water or whatever, I would be really nervous about taking this apart. Is it okay to just add, add fresh a little water, water and not worry about doing fresh cuts on the bottom yes. of all the stems? Yes, okay. exactly. Okay. I would just continue to add water to this. And this will yeah. last a good week and a half. I'm going to say yes. Okay. Fresh tulips, good week and a half, yeah. simple to do. Very simple, but yet this has a very upscale, classy look to it. This screams dollar amount. So like when we're talking to our customers right yeah. now, this in your cooler really screams a nice dollar high value. Amount. Yeah, high value. High value. Yep. It really is. It yep. looks like a gorgeous piece. So, I agree. And it's not yeah. light. It's nope. Heavy. Yep, it is actually heavy. So add a little bit of water. I prefer to use distilled water when I'm at home because I don't have the uh, fortified water yeah. at my house. Yeah. But I prefer to use a little distilled water to help keep the container nice and clear. Yes, yes, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, we're kind of moving, we're cheating a little bit, but right. we just saw them in the cooler this morning and thought we have Fell to at least love. show them. Yeah, we did. Got to show them So off. those of you who've gotten to play with these already, this is stock as most of you recognize, but yeah. this is actually, we call it rainbow stock. And it's because of the variation in color. You can see the little bit of lavender down towards the bottom. You can see the lime green and then it's towards the top beautiful. is a little bit more of your white, but it's all, almost like a multicolor. Beautiful. So we call it rainbow. Designer's rainbow dream right here. I know. And we've got a couple bunches right now. Yeah, literally a couple Grab bunches. Grab them and talk to your, if you if you go on the cart or you call your salesperson and we're now sold out, like yeah. in an hour or so yeah. or <laughs> the next day, right. call your salesperson and say, hey, to please tell the buyers to grab some more of that rainbow stock for me. I'd like it next week. Yeah, please yeah, it's do. gorgeous and it's perfect for spring. And I'm it sorry oh, to you know. shove your nose in here, but oh it my smells gosh. so good. Yeah, I could smell stock all day long. Same with highest scent. I could just smell those two scents all day. Agreed. Um, and the other thing I wanted to bring up was uh, blooming branches. Yeah, it's a very very short season because, as you can imagine, any branch that's going to be blooming gorgeous. on the trees. Is going to do it and they're going to be done <laughs> you peeking <Yes>. through <laughs> so there are a few different kinds here i just grabbed a few yeah. sorry george i do not no, want to show no, you no you really it's fine. um they are they're calling beautiful. this one peach here, blossom let me hold this, this one whole thing right here yep. this is what they're calling as the peach blossom really pretty and then what I georgia has in her hand is um quince yep so there are beautiful. some that are more white some that are more pink yep. i think we also have cherry blossoms in the cooler right mm -hmm. now and of course forsythia also right my recommendation is because this is such a short window, bring these in these branches yeah. into your store because it is just such, I mean, to have something yeah. live and growing in oh. your homes, it's, we need it this time of year, we oh need gosh. the blossoms and the blooms. Yes. We just really do because and then, that gives us that spring feel. It does. And really, right, when the blooms have fallen off, then usually your leaves will start to sprout. Yes. And even that's yes. like super exciting. Oh, it is. It yeah. really is. Like curly willow. I put curly willow in my outside planters all the time. Yeah. And into May and in June, when I'm yeah. starting to switch to summer, the curly willow's blossoming. It's blossom, and it's just really it's cool. Yeah, it's yeah. greening out. I love so. that. Um, and I do, uh, for somebody who celebrates Easter, I actually always, yeah. every year, use my yeah. blooming branches for my little Easter yes. tree. So what I do is I take, I, whether it's the quince or the peach, yep. and I put these in a vase or a container with water. And then I do add a few artificial um, mm -hmm. 
stem, blooming stem. So once these are done, I bet something else is still blooming. Great idea. And I hang my little Easter ornaments on it. And that's love part it. of our Easter tradition. And it's, it really I love that. is beautiful through the whole season. Right. So, anyway, just some ideas, some thoughts. You know what I like that I'm noticing here, Kristen, is just the difference in the brown branches oh, versus the green true. branches. That yep. was gorgeous. Yep. Just look at the difference Mixing in up color. the two. Yes. yes. I love it. Yeah. Taking. <laughs> so that's really kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Good call out. I didn't even notice that I grabbed them as yeah. they're blooming, but not thinking about the color of the just actual beautiful. stems. Yeah. yeah. Sarah, coming close to this little blossom, isn't that just beautiful? Just so pretty. It's I very delicate, gorgeous, yeah. delicate, petite. It's just, it's that screams just precious yeah yep i love I it i love it yeah very nice there you go but yeah so we had a little bit of a bloomage and tulip here and spring time. it's spring today's spring next week we i'm not worrying about fever. the 30 degree weather yeah. today i'm focusing on the 60s yes, yes. absolutely yes. we have spring fever this week we do all right have a, hopefully you have a yeah. great week this week and we'll see you next week happy spring everyone take care